Welcome to day three of my quarantine food diaries. Today is the day I am getting my COVID test. It is day three. Um, we get our test on day three and day 12, I believe. Have any of you guys ever done the test before? If you have, please tell me below. But by the time you guys comment, I would have already had it, so. But you know, it's nice to share your experience. I actually knew a few people back in Seattle that um, took the test. People would do it for work purposes and besides the fact that if you're feeling sick, you do it. But I just mean in general, lots of people um, did it just in case anyways. And I think that's a great idea, especially if they, your country or wherever you are, have the resources for it. It's great to be safe than sorry. But yes, that is what I'm doing today. But before that, it's time for breakfast. You already know what it's gonna look like. So I'm gonna go, there's like a little table there. I'm gonna make it and then I'm gonna bring it back. So let's go. All done. I'm sitting on the floor, by the way. <laughs> my mom is gonna kill me. She's like, don't sit on the floor because it's dirty. As you know, this is my breakfast. They managed to give me bananas yesterday so I could cut it up and add it into my wheat bix. I'm not really that worried. Uh, I know it's not gonna be painful. I just know it's gonna be uncomfortable when I actually have to do it. So that's fine. But in the grand scheme of things, I think I'm just scared because there's no one to go with me <laughs> like I'm going by myself and I come back by myself yeah I'm feeling a little bit like icky today I've got a bit of editing to do uh, for a giveaway that's coming up so I need to edit that and hopefully I've been trying to do a lot more editing because that really kind of creatively motivates me I'm super excited about filming this Q&A tomorrow though I posted it on my Instagram and lots of people have been asking questions um, so I'm super excited to answer them. I've never done one before and I kind of thought no one would reply but people did so I'm super excited. Since I'm feeling a little gluggy this morning, I'm thinking about trying that instant coffee that I mentioned. So maybe I'll do that whilst I edit, I don't know. We shall see. I committed and made the coffee friends. That's what it looks like. They even give you a little stirring spoon. Cheers. Not too bad. Lunch time. Today is a very healthy lunch. Uh, the other vegetarian option was kind of something weird. So I went for the chicken Caesar salad. But don't worry because I got afternoon tea today. I'll show you afternoon tea because that is the exciting part. Time for the brownie. Whoa. So for today's afternoon tea, we've got a brownie. I'm just gonna do this so you can actually see it. <gasps> Guys, look at that. It is massive. It looks very fudgy. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm excited to eat that later. So today I decided to go back for my classic OJ. <sighs> it's so refreshing. For today's lunch we have chicken Caesar salad with croutons and soft boiled egg. Ta-da! It looks like it has a lot of sauce on it, so I'm kind of excited. Hopefully it's good. Mmm, that chicken is really nice. Should we try a little, a little crouton? Crunchy, I like it. So I've got my COVID test in half an hour. The countdown begins. Besides that, today I got a call from the security manager. Basically after quarantine, they want to figure out how we're going to get home. So he called me and just got my information as well as providing information on how they can help us get back to our families. <laughs> we have a soft boiled egg. I'm going to rate this salad a 5 out of 10 because it's great, but it's a little bit on the saltier side. But I do appreciate the egg in there because it's, you know, extra protein. But anyways, I'm going to continue eating this. I'm watching Schitt's Creek. If you guys haven't watched it on Netflix, it's so good. I've already watched it all. I'm re-watching it because there's nothing else for me to watch. And I will see you when I eat my brownie. Woo! Dinner time! I ended up not having afternoon tea because I went on my walk. And then I talked to uh, one of my friends and I just... 
I was like, I'm just gonna wait till dinner time. Biggest regret of my life because I am so hungry. <laughs> Tony, would you like to say hi? Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> He's gonna be joining me. It's like 11 o'clock where he is. Got my orange juice. Today they deliver dinner a little bit later. It is, ooh, 6.27. Usually they deliver dinner between 5.30 to 6.30. Oh, I got the vegetarian option, I forgot. Oh, I love how hot this is. God, I'm so excited. I've been so hangry. Tony's been feeling my wrath because I was so hangry before. Oh, jeez Louise. Guys, look at this goodness. It's gnocchi with cheese and walnuts. I mean, it smells absolutely amazing. It looks better in real life. Okay, anyways, less talking. Let's just try this thing. All right, first bite, we got the gnocchi. It's good. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's not, ch uh, it's not cheese. It's, um, I think it's pumpkin puree. Oh. Mm-hmm. The walnuts is a really, okay. I've only had one bite, but I already rate this a solid 9.5 out of 10. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. That's, that's a high number right there. The gnocchi is really soft and fresh. Mm-hmm. It's really good. Yeah, I'm glad. Was it worth the wait? Yes, it was. The gnocchi is the one that, um, it's got like a little, it looks like a little bug's body. So I thought the gnocchi was going to be the square ones, but it's one of those, <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it besides the fact that it looks like a bug's body. I'm glad you're enjoying this. I can hear you salivating every turn. Literally, and I love walnuts. Walnuts and almonds are my favorite nuts in the world, and I think they've toasted the nuts too. It's just creamy. Um, oh, it's good. Also, I'm so happy a lot of you guys are enjoying these videos, by the way. I've been getting a lot of comments or people messaging me saying like, whoa, I love your quarantine meals. A lot of people are saying that around the world they don't get as many options, which, you know, I'm pretty grateful too because, um, and I'll say this again in my Q&A, but every single meal we get to choose between two and breakfast, there's like six different things, and we have morning and afternoon tea. So I feel very fortunate. Mm. I wish it looked better on camera because it's that good. It's very creamy though. Definitely need something to wash it down. You know what would go well with this? Lemonade, which we had the option of ordering. And there's literal, there's real pumpkin bits in it too. I haven't talked to Tony all day, so I'm going to continue eating my dinner, um, chat with him, catch up with him, and as promised, we are going to have that brownie today. I will see you when we eat the brownie. Alright friends, I have demolished dinner. I finished it within 10 minutes. Not exaggerating when I say it was one of the best knockies I've ever had. I think it's freshly made at the restaurant, but it was amazing. Um, but I've just also showered, put on my pajamas. I've got my trusty little Earl Grey tea. I'm going to see, have a little taste test of this brownie. Here it is, as I showed you. And of course, we must do a taste test on camera. <laughs> but seriously, it's so moist and fluffy. I'm going to continue eating my super fudgy brownie with my cup of tea. Um, watch a bit of Simpsons to end the night. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, it really helps to share the video with other people um, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my quarantine video diary tomorrow. Bye.